Here is Carter Vintage Guitar. This is an amazing guitar shop here in Nashville. I'm sure you've seen it. Here's the thing, I get it. You live in a town that doesn't have cool guitar shops and you don't know where to start learning about cool guitars. Let's go in here. So we're gonna see Bo. Bo is a good friend of mine. He is from Covington, Louisiana. He's an amazing guitar player. He lives in Nashville now. He started working at Carter a couple months ago. I'm really excited to see him. I haven't seen him in a while. So when you first walk into Carter's, it's really easy to feel really overwhelmed just because there are so many guitars, there are so many people, and you're also in Nashville, and so like every guitar player is better than you. There's literally something for everyone, whatever you're into. If you're into upright basses, if you're into cool, shreddy electric guitars, for me, I always feel drawn to this wall over here, which is all of the great acoustic guitars, because that's just my, me and my style. I've always loved acoustic guitars over electric guitars. Uh, and I just think that there's something about them that makes something in me just really come alive. I actually haven't played one of these, um, but it's a very good looking, so it's a new Martin that looks old, it's got some checking, it's got some wear, the tuners, have some good patina and some good wear to them. And this guitar is feather light. One of the ways they get these guitars just so light is that they do torrefaction, or they bake the tops. They rupture the cell structure, and so that makes the guitars not hold moisture, which makes them more stable for humidity and temper change, but it also f lightens them up, makes them more articulate and more resonant. I've ever played, period. Hands this down. This is Ed King 55. Yep. I mean, it's it's incredible. It's super resonant. Like, when you knock on the guitar, it's as loud as playing it, like the pickups. Um, it sounds so good. I mean, it's it's, it's otherworldly. Yeah, how is it on weight? It's pretty, it feels like about eight and a half, nine. Go play it.
didn't expect to play this guitar when I came in. I had a whole different idea for this video, but this 55 Les Paul Gold Top P90s, uh, it's just a magical guitar. I don't think I've ever played a guitar that is this cool, sounds this good, plays this well. The action is so light. The guitar sounds great, and P90s are an amazing kind of pickup because they're so dynamic. If you dig in, they get really bitey and really aggressive but you can back off and play really well. So with this, you don't need a pedal board. You just need the dynamics of your hands and a good amp. To show you how cool and how special this guitar is, here's literally a picture of it. So this is a 53 and a 55. I think this is what I was just playing. Yes, the tuners are the same. They're really kind of the milky cloudy. So this guitar is $40,000. So let's go put it back. Let's go take it to bow. Let's see what else is cool. I want to go into the room. If you've watched the videos from Carter's, you have seen their top room up here. This is where my heart lives. If you have watched Carter's videos, you have definitely seen this room. It is where all of their amazing videos are filmed. Uh, amazing players like Jason Isbell has sit right, sat right here, Ricky Skaggs, Molly Tuttle, all of these great guitar players. And when you come here, you get to just kind of, this is just an open room. Obviously, you need to be reverent about the instruments that are in this room, but you get to play them. So come to Nashville, come to Carter's, check out these amazing guitars. Let's see, I wanna see what I want to play. <laughs> triple o 28 so the back has had some overspray it has a new bridge and new tuners but this guitar has amazing brazilian rosewood on the back and sides lots of grain lots of the black streaks a very great example of brazilian rosewood Hey, this is Bo. He's a great friend of mine. He grew up in South Louisiana. We've known each other for years. We've been good friends. He just recently moved to Nashville and he works at Carter Vintage Guitars. Uh, so Bo, how's it working at Carter? I love it, man. It's That's great. Awesome. It's great. People are cool and the guitars are super sweet, so. Yeah, and what's your what's the coolest guitar you've found yet? Um, as far as like sound-wise, it's the 1955 Ed King. That's the one top. I just played. Yeah, it's killer. So Absolutely. Good. One of the questions we were talking about a minute ago while the camera was off was how do you learn about guitars mm -hmm. without working at a guitar shop? Because we've both had the unfair advantage yeah. of working at really cool guitar shops. So Bo worked at CNM Music yep. in South Louisiana, which is a really great modern retailer, and now he works for Carter Vintage, mm -hmm. uh, where you guys you sell new stuff, but it, most of it. I mean, yeah, it's like 90% used in consignment. Okay. So how do you learn about guitars and gear without working at a guitar shop? Um, i say the easiest way is surrounding yourself with people who know about guitars and then asking them questions. Um, YouTube and the internet and going on the forums with a grain of salt because yeah. everybody has very, very strong opinions yeah. and um, their own f facts that they like to say. Yeah, it's such a silly, yeah. like if you go on like uh, what's TRDP, whatever it is, the mm -hmm. Tele Forum, that one's yeah. been around forever. I, I rarely ever go on it. I hate Reddit. 
I hate the guitar subreddit yeah. because it's such a negative and unhelpful culture. Um, right. And it will not help you because when you post pictures of cool guitars, mm-hmm. someone's like, oh, well, here's my Squire and you're a sucker if you like yeah. anything other than that. There's actually great um, Facebook pages as well. Yes. To, to ask questions. I, yeah, I really mm-hmm. like um, Vintage Guitar Mart. There, there are a mm-hmm. bunch on Facebook that are really helpful. Yeah. I think the other thing is, and I mentioned, I made a video about this, like Bo and I, we just have this, crea- we just have this curiosity in us. Yeah. That's just like, I just want to know everything there is to know about guitars. That's why I started working in, in guitar shops because I wanted to know how to work on guitars and know about guitars and it's just it's gone from there. Yeah, knowing yeah. values, just knowing what things are, that's the most helpful. I remember yeah. being amazed when I first started working and the guy I worked for could just look at a guitar in 10 seconds. He would know, ah, it's made in this year with these pickups. Someone changed that pickup. See, we got some guys like that. Um, he just looked at a, a guitar case and was like, yeah, hey, it's late 64. I'm like, <laughs> Yeah. What? <laughs> and it just, I mean, the sad part is like, it's just going to take being around a lot of them. But I mean, I'm 32. How old are you? 21. Yeah. 21. I mean, you can learn this stuff. You can be around it. Yes. Guitar retail has changed in 2019. Um, but there are ways there. YouTube is such a helpful resource yeah. for finding cool stuff. Uh, the acoustic letter, if you want to know what an acoustic guitar sounds like, I think they have such a great body of work. Mm-hmm. Um, but anyway, Bo, thanks for showing me around. I had so much fun. The Ed King is amazing. It's incredible. That's a guitar I will not forget playing. And then I always love coming in this room because you just feel like it's that, like, you're like, oh my gosh, my hero sat here and I saw the videos right, of yeah. that. So thanks, Bo. It's good to see you, man. Yes, we got this Gibson. Ooh. I think we got a Martin one. Ooh, I want to play Northfield. I've seen these dudes forever and I haven't played one in person. We were just talking as we were heading out the door. I was like, I really want an octave mandolin. And he said, you have to see a couple of these. And we're talking about tenor guitars. So came over here and there are just a couple that I really have to play right away. So let's check out this Northfield octave. I've wanted to play one of these for a long time. much but I know that in Nashville if you make a big banner people will stop and take pictures in front of it so I figured why not stop and tell you something you need to hear I was 23 before I came to Nashville ever I had never been to Nashville before I was 23 that was 10 years nine years ago um, but here's the thing you can learn about cool guitars and gear without ever coming to Nashville but you should come here you should come here and you should go to Groon Guitars, you should go to Artisan Guitars, you should go to Rumble Seat, you should go to Carter. They're all right here on the same road. But listen, you have everything you need to learn cool guitars. You have people in your community that know about guitars. You have people that are playing guitars. You can talk to them. You also have YouTube, you have each other. That's the coolest and most important thing is that you have each other. Other guitar hunters from around the country so use hashtag guitar hunter. It's not just me, this is you. This is all of the people that like this channel. You have each other. I wanna find a way to connect you guys to each other so that you find cool guitars, you learn how to negotiate, you learn how to buy cool stuff, you learn what things are worth. Thanks for watching this video. I'm Jeremy, I'm the Guitar Hunter. I really, really don't take it lightly that you watch these videos and I'm so glad that we're in it together. I hope you have an awesome new year. So it's time for me to go back to the valley, which is a place where there's a lot less guitars and a lot less people, but there are still really cool guitars to be found wherever wherever any of us are. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell down there so you know when I make new videos. Make sure to follow me at Jeremy the Guitar Hunter on Instagram. I'll see you guys later. Go fill the world with music and friendship.